Hello, my name is Talat. I'm a laboratory technician at Mechanical Engineering Department. This is video structure for Armfield Extended Tubular Heat Exchanger. First, there's some safety information. You are required to read manual before operating this equipment. This equipment is capable of producing temperatures that could cause burns. During operation, do not touch motor and hot water hoses. Ensure that system is cooled down before disconnecting any tubings. Always be cautious and don't let apparatus unattended while switched on. Keep laptop and other electronics away from possible sources of leakage. For installation, you should connect cold water hose to water supply. You can use hose clamps and teflon tape to avoid leakages. Put another cold water hose into a suitable drain. Here we have hot water tank. It should be filled with clean demineralized water. Water should be touching this sensor. This is how wires should be connected. Green thermocouples should be connected in accordance with their number. In order to start equipment you should press mains and check that the uh, stop button is released. These lights should turn on. Then you should open HD36 software. If connection is ok, IFD should be ok. Then just press power on. Then you should open hot water flow, select manual and inset 100. You should hear that pump is working, water should go inside. Then after filling tubes you should press 0 again. After this you should open cold water supply and press 100 here and also hear the flow of water. After this you should rotate this pressure valve until the needed number are on computer. After rotating pressure valve your numbers for cold water flow should be approximately equal 4.9. For the exercise A you should set cold water flow equal to 1 liter per minute, so you just decrease this percentage. Also you should choose 4 as a number of tubes, so you should see more data on the screen. Make heater equal to 30 degrees Celsius. Select automatic mode. Press OK. Then also you should make uh, hot water flow equal to 3 liters per minute. Also press automatic mode. You should hear the, that the motor is working. When temperature is stabilized, you should collect data by clicking on Go icon. Then you should change cold water flow to 2 liters. Like this and press new, begin new data set. Press on go again when your temperature will stabilize again. When you press view table, you can observe all the data that you've collected. In order to save it, just press save as and don't forget to click on Excel file and save it. After this, you can use the saved data for later observations. When you've finished your exercise and collected all needed data, you need to turn off equipment. Just uh, press off on everything, click manual, call to zero, and turn off cold water supply, make it equal to zero. And press on this button. To this, turn off the equipment by pressing mains and unplugging USB cable. Now, some words about the maintenance. 
if this equipment will not be used for a long time, you better drain all the water. To do it, just unplug these tubes, like this, put them inside, do the same for hot water tubes. and open this valve for hot water tank also once in a month you should press this RCD test button this should be triggered if not then don't use this equipment this is the end of video instruction thank you for watching